Hello everyone, and today's tutorial we'll look at emitters in Maxwell Render. And this is in response to a particular problem that I had, or a problem that I encountered. Not particularly a problem, but perhaps a, an issue would be a better word for it. The issue I was having is that emitters of different sizes were giving out different amounts of light, and this was because of how they were set up. So I'd like to explain how default emitters work in Maxwell Render, and then explain the changes I made in order to make it work for me. So what I've got here is a very, very basic scene of a plane uh, acting as a floor, and then three emitters, and these are also planes. And if you look here, you can see I've just cloned the planes until I've got this set up. And all of these uh, planes here, which are acting as emitters, have the same emitter material applied. But the difference between them is that they are different sizes. Uh, this one here is one meter by one meter. The middle one is half a meter by half a meter, so it has one quarter the area of the large one. And the smallest one is 0.25 meters by 0.25 meters. So in other words, it's a quarter again of the area of the middle one and a sixteenth of the area of the largest one. And if I double click to open the emitter material which is applied to them, you can see that the luminance is set to power and efficiency, which means I'll simply set the power and the efficiency of the emitter and the emitters will give out the correct amount of lumens. Now this is probably how you would set up a light in the real world. A manufacturer would say, my light bulb has a power of however many watts and an efficiency of however many lumens per watt, therefore uh, you can put that in your render and as long as the bulb is actually modelled to the correct size, it will render correctly and accurately in the physical world. However, when working with arbitrary sizes, this setup doesn't really work that well, as can be demonstrated here. These emitters have exactly the same emitter applied using the power and efficiency model, but you can quite clearly see that they are different intensities. The smallest one is quite seems quite bright, the middle one seems not as bright, and the largest one seems not as bright again. The reason is, is they're all giving out the same amount of lumens, but the smallest one is doing it over a smaller area, so it appears brighter. And just in case you don't believe me, here is digital color meter showing that the smallest one has an RGB of 111, the middle one has an RGB of 60, and the large one has an RGB of 32. It's also probably important to note that for this test, I have in fact uh, turned on devignetting to 100% in the render options, so there's definitely no darkening in the corners to make it nice and fair. And there's also nothing particularly special about my camera parameters. I'll just show you those quickly. There's no witchcraft or wizardry here. Perfectly normal setup. So at the moment I've got emitters of different sizes giving out seemingly different amounts of light. It is in fact the same amount of light, but because it's over a different area, it appears brighter to the eye. And it also appears brighter to the camera, obviously. I'm going to turn on fire now, so that the preview updates. And if I want to change this uh, appearance, I need to change my luminance mode in my emitter. So make sure the uh, emitter material is open, and you've got the emitter selected. And then change the luminance mode from power and efficiency down to lux. And what Lux does is it changes the mode to lumens per meter, or technically lumens per square meter. And so now, the emitters are all giving out the same amount of light per square meter, so they actually appear to be the same intensity, although there is more energy coming out of each one because it is the same luminance per square meter, but over larger areas. And just to prove that these are now all appearing to be the same intensity, using digital color meter, I can show that the smallest emitter appears to be 106, medium emitter appears to be 106 and the large emitter appears to be 106. So now what I can do with these settings is make emitters of different sizes but in my renders they will definitely appear to be the same intensity and the project that I was working on when I realized that I needed this kind of setup was actually a backlit keyboard hence you can see why this is very useful because the individual letters on the keyboard which were backlit were different sizes and hence they were giving out different amounts of light when the illuminance mode was set to power and efficiency. But now with Lux, they all appear to emit a constant light output. You can also use the luminance mode of luminance, which is candelas per square meter, and this gives the same effect, but you simply uses a different unit to Lux. That's all for now, thanks very much for watching. If you found the video useful, comment, like and subscribe, and check out our channel for more videos. Thanks very much, see you again soon. For more information about support, consultation and mentoring in CAD and Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.